Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's Take 10, um, May the 11th. Um, this week's, just a few notes before we begin. This session will be recorded live. We encourage you to use the live chat function when you, uh, when you join. All chats will be monitored by a member of our team. However, they will not be part of the recording session. Session recording. <laughs> Recordings will be uploaded to our YouTube channel within 24 to 48 hours. And please stay tuned for your chance to win an incredible prize package with a retail value of, of over $100. And that will be, um, I will let you know about that at the end of the presentation, okay? This week's talk, my name is Karen Labukane. Um I am one of the counselors for Northern Lakes College, and my colleague and friend, Barb DeRocher, will be the moderator for our uh, this, this afternoon's presentation. She's also a counselor with the college. This week's Take 10 is Managing Conflict. There are four main types of conflict. Conflict with yourself, man versus self, or women, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I should have put that in too. Conflict with others, man slash woman versus man slash woman. Conflict with environment, man versus, conf man versus nature. And conflict with society, man versus society. Conflict with yourself. Conflict, conflict with yourself. It's you need to make a decision and you are conflicted. Which way should I go? Um, maybe you want to, you're looking for a new job or maybe you found a new job or you want to move. Um, so you have to kind of think about that and try to figure out which way to go. Conflict with yourself is probably, <laughs> hopefully a little bit easier than other ones. Conflict with others. You and one, or maybe more than one, cannot agree on an issue. Um, say, oh, say your neighbor. Um, your neighbor is giving you a hard time about maybe your dog. Maybe your dog is barking a lot. So, and you have to try to, so it's causing a conflict between the two of you. So you need to try and figure out how to work through that. I'm just going to go back for a minute. Conflict with nature. I didn't I, I didn't really talk about those too much, but I just wanted to make a couple comments. Com conflict with nature is man versus na is nature. It's like um, those fire fire, those fire forest fires we had a few years ago. That was a major conflict. That was nature. Or conflict with society, man versus society. You um, maybe you don't have the same views, political views as someone or the same um, religious views as, as a group. Or like there, here in Peace River, every Friday night, there's a group I've heard. I haven't heard them myself, but I've heard there's a group that goes around town every Friday night blowing their, their horns. They're protesting. I'm not sure if it's if they're wear, if they're wearing the mask or having to the choice taken away, but that would be an, an example of uh, conflict with society. So those are a couple extra. So, but I'm just going to talk more about the self and and the man, the conflict with yourself and conflict with another person. Okay. There are five ways that you can go avoidance. You can ignore the situation and hope it will go away. And sometimes it may. The goal is to delay. Um, sometimes it's not a major issue. And sometimes if you like bide your time, it may go away. So that's avoidance. Accommodating. Accommodating is one person agrees to give it to give in to the other. The goal to this one is to yield. Um, 
you may not agree, but you know, let's just agree so so that we can move on. I'm, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Compromising. Each side gives up something. Seems fair, but not everyone is always happy about it. Goal. The goal for this one is to find a middle ground. Um, not everyone is always happy about it, but uh, you kind of agree that, okay, um, I'll give up this if you give up this. So, so you reach a common ground, a middle ground. And then there's competition. One person goes in expecting to win. The goal is to win. And they won't give in. They won't compromise. They won't, um, they won't really discuss anything. They just want to win. So they're in there to win it. And yeah. Or collaboration, which is the best way to go. Everyone will agree agrees on a solution. The goal of this is for a win-win for everyone. Everyone um, gets to have some of what they um, are looking for. It's usually, I mean, sometimes you don't get everything, but you get a good a good win so that you feel good about the the, the whole situation or what's what's come of it. Okay. And some steps to working through the issues. The first thing you need to do is identify and clarify the issue. Be specific. Don't use generalizations like you always do this or this always happens or be specific. Think of a ex specific example or something that's um, a time when the the issue really came to light and you, and be specific so the person that you're talking to knows knows what you're talking about because it's really tough when you say well you always do this or this always happens okay and understand and listen to all sides everyone both sides have a say and both sides need to listen and to try to understand both sides you may not always agree or you don't have to agree but you need to listen and to hear all sides to see um, the perspectives from everyone. And then once you've done that, you list possible solutions. What are some things that you can do to alleviate the situation? What are some things that you can do to um, get, through, get through the conflict? And um, don't be afraid to, to, to shout out ideas. Sometimes they may be like pretty wild or outlandish, but you never know. They might actually work and the other the other side may be willing to look at them too. So list possible solutions. And then once you've listed them, evaluate them. Take a look at them and say, okay, we can do this because this will happen or or this this one is really not gonna work. But be open to the different solutions. Don't just write it off right away just stop and think about okay maybe maybe we can do this okay okay and then the select the agreed upon solutions you collaborate everyone has a say in what's happening so you agree you select the agreed upon solutions and then once you're done um you can evaluate and renegotiate if needed um you may see find that something something worked and something didn't. So then you can maybe tweak it a little bit, and then always um, document if it's a um, more of a formal situation. Absolutely document the agreed upon solutions, and make sure everyone knows that 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 has been done. Um, for not so formal situations, it may not be as necessary but but at least keep something keep something some kind of um yeah something to say that it was talked about and this was agreed on okay um and think about the consequences when you're going into a conflict situation or you want to deal with it think about how serious it is and um how much you need to invest and what if you don't come to a, a solution, what's the consequence? But if you do come to a solution, I mean, it's a win-win situation. So 
there's lots of um, there's lots of information out there, and you can you can look up even more if you want to. But um, this is just kind of a uh, just a short little one to give you an idea of, of what you can do. Okay. And just to let you know that if you want more information, absolutely get in touch with our counseling team. And if you have any issues or concerns, you um, just to let you know that you are not alone. We are all here to help. Counseling services, student counseling services, you can reach by calling the 1-800 number, the 1-866-652-3456 and the extension or you can send us an email at counseling at Northern Lakes College. Or you can also, if you're stuck or if you can't remember the numbers or you lost them, or call your local campus. The AFs, I believe the AFs are all working right now. So you can call the, your local campus and they can put you through to counseling. Just ask, I need to talk to someone in counseling and they can put you through. Okay. And finally, Enter for your chance to win an NLC wellness swag bag. Uh, you have to enter, sorry, I forgot to change the dates on these. So it's actually March the 11th today. So you have to have your name in by March the thir May, May the 13th. And how you do that is you email counseling at Northern Lakes College. And in the subject line, you put in grow. And your name will be put in for the draw for the swag bag. Okay, uh, thanks for listening, and everybody have a good rest of the week. Okay, thanks.